The conference today is an attempt to bring state leaders together to talk about how uh, we can do more to become more resilient in our communities, in agriculture, in our infrastructure, uh, through good public policy. In regards to the cause and, and creation, we need to react and implement uh, what we do and change what we do to react to what the conditions are today. The, uh, the drought, the weather problems here and in other places have a big impact on those prices. Is in 150 years of our business, we have not been ter terribly concerned about our ability to provide water. In the last two years, we've been extraordinarily concerned about that. It's very important because each of us who participate in it, either as presenters or as attendees, hear the discussion. University of Iowa does a great job through the public policy program in bringing a number of different viewpoints to uh, discussions like this. So the forum itself is so important for us to hear different perspectives and really weigh out issues and be involved informally in discussions that are very much a part of a day like today. What we're going to do right now, the concept, and both uh, University of Iowa and Iowa uh, State University is helping with us, is to forecast the other way with weather based on a series of climate models. And basically try to predict future 100-year flood because that's changing, okay, because of the changes that we're seeing ultimately in the we're weather. We're rebuilding the transmission system, or ITC is as well. We'll have new substations. We're trying to relocate those out of the, pl um, the floodplains. The biggest challenge we have is people don't want them in their backyard or in their neighborhood. I think our production potential is being reduced through land degradation, through erosion. Consider erosion as a yield drag. One, one of the things we've tried to do as regents is encourage in particular the three public universities to work together in a collaborative way. We have different resources at each university, so today I think is a, is a really good day where they're sharing that information, they're, they're seeing how they can work together on, in the different areas that they work on, and they can work collaboratively to make Iowa a better place. Uh, there are folks from all areas of Iowa that are very interested in how climate uh, and climate change will impact the future of Iowa. Could be economics, could be flood damages, could be the agricultural sector, could be our water and natural environment. And so bringing folks together, I think um, we get a chance to learn about what each other is doing and we get a chance to figure out where those uh, connections, linkages and partnerships are. Well, if we go in the upper part of the watershed where the projects are more intensely constructed, we see about a 74% reduction in stream flow for the 100-year rainfall event. That's seven and a half inches of rainfall in 24 hours. That's a lot of rain. When we talk about a critical issue like weather extremes and how it affects the state, getting people together from all across not only state government but universities and the public and non nonprofits to talk about the same issue, number one, it helps us understand better where other people come to the issue from, and it helps them to understand our perspective, and we get to meet a few people so that down the road when we have to wrestle with a really tough issue, I'm calling up somebody that I met at the seminar and I remember who they are and we can have a conversation and maybe get to a point where we can actually accomplish something. Keep an eye on some sustainability issues. So what have we learned? Uh, we're planning for change in the department. Um, our folks on the Con and Rec side say,